Probably got some water for you, though. Traditional intro. Ah! Uh, <clears throat> Doremimo! Good morning, everybody. It is a bright and sunny Tuesday. It is for me, at least, and I hope it is for you, too. Shit up, folks. We're almost, almost halfway through the week. <laughs> if you think about it. If you glitch. It's going to be an exciting one today. We're going to play a little bit of Zomboid. You guys are aware, yesterday we sought out an armored car. And we found not only an armored Humvee, but a brand new Unibog. So, we got the Humvee back home. We're going to have to find a, a junk car to uh, unclaim a vehicle. I claimed at the beginning of the light, but abandoned by accident without unclaiming it. My bad. But then after that, we're going to have to drive all the way up to uh, Louisville to grab that Unibog. Not too much of a challenge, but uh, doing it in an efficient, safe way, that's going to be probably the most dangerous part. All right, we still got another probably minute of us loaded in, so this is your time. Grab your water, grab your snacks, sit down. I wonder where I was probably Tinder as we wait. Where the fuck's my phone? There's a lot of good art on the old Twitter feed today. Load it on up. You take your time there, Sixes. Keep going. You played the rest. Now joining the pretty okay most of the time. <laughs> so we're gonna try and keep the stream a little bit uh around the two hour mark because i have to do final fantasy dailies today i've been i slept on those so if we if we get up around the two hour mark and things aren't looking good then <laughs> we have failed mission failed boys we'll go to next time here's open Okay, load it on it. Oh, please be early morning. That'd be really convenient for me. Please be like 0400. Please, I beg you. Oh, well, I I claim two cars. I have um I have the Humvee and then I have uh, a Unibog, and I just need to go grab the Unibog. It is almost nighttime. That's not ideal. Okay. Today's mission is to grab the Unibog from um from where I left it in uh in Louisville. Um, I was also gonna write in this journal. That's the one thing that I kept yelling at myself to do. I gotta find a pen. I think a pen be over here, perhaps. A pen do be over here. I'm also covered in cuts and scratches 
that we're going to have to <laughs> figure out. Not that a little old Myra Wada can't figure out. This is really epic journal transcribing music. Yeah, it's <laughs> certainly something. I'll say I, I I know who I know who Biggie is. You don't need to type out the entire thing. I mean, I'm not I'm not the greatest like West Coast rap fan, but you know I like him enough. <laughs> you know. I'm, It was all a dream. Okay, put my journal back away. Eat some food. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We take the Humvee out. <laughs> it's just, just unnecessary. It's really unnecessary. Um... Uh, we repair uh, a little bit. We go out, we find a vehicle, a real junker. You know, like a real piece of shit. Uh, what do I need for this? I need two L sheets small, but I have everything else I need. Yeah, okay, I can do that. See, sometimes the menu just lets you automatically, like, grab stuff. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> I've been shooting a... No, I have not. Um, I shot a gun once, and I'm... And I literally just fired it to grab the attention of a couple of zombies. And I'm surprised that I hit the zombie. I'm very surprised. Because it was like a... It was like a rifle. I, I can't remember what rifle it was, but... Eighty three, not bad, not bad. But four mile sheet, eight mile sheet small. Oh, that's a terrible recipe. Oh, that hurts. Plus I would need more metal working. Uh plus let's screws. Okay, you know what? We don't actually now that the the bull bar is actually fixed up, we'll we'll bring it up to a hundred. We don't actually really technically need to Yeah, I'm um I'm waiting. I brought home tons of weapons and tons of parts, but um I'm mostly waiting for um including a, a bunch of shotguns. Uh I'm mostly just waiting for um the next time I play with like other players. Um so that I can um I can just fire off guns in um in relative safety and peace. Um I would like to bring instead of this axe this brand new baseball bat and we will put away these hunting knives for weights and what do we got for hip bags put this stuff away too okay uh normal adventure kit we need the gas can obviously we want to heal us up we want our matches uh -oh. Fill one. You want a propane torch? You want a screwdriver? We will move two of these into my medical bag. Put all of these in my medical bag. 
Oh, full auto actually works. Nice. We have, um, with that knowledge alone, I'm excited. Okay. We have a wrench. We need a lug wrench. Look, garden saw. A sledgehammer. I am wearing a mask, so we don't need one of those. Pretty sure all my extra skeletons are dead, so we're gonna have to be a little careful about what fights we gotta do. Um, I really wanna. I'm not gonna say yes because I have the things that I want to do today, and if and I have unlimited time. I want this. I want to be done with Zomboy in about two hours. So I don't want to commit to anything because I'm going to be going offline after two hours to do all this stuff. So. Here's my duct tape. Make my blunts because I am in a bad condition emotionally. I'll take some cola. Uh, some little cereal. Yeah, no, um, I, again, like, I, I have two hours that I am going offline, <laughs> you know, I'm not going back on until tomorrow. Okay, well, if all my power supplies are dead, I guess I might as well just bring a breathing system. That's probably the most efficient use of weight. Tinker. Small three. No, thank you. <laughs> My bat just keeps getting smaller and smaller. You know what? You know what I can do, actually? Instead of taking my Humvee anywhere, I can pop the Zastava. I don't know what a Zastava is. I don't know what a Zastava Yugo actually is. It might be... It might be one of the three-door cars, or three-wheeled cars. If it is, it's gonna be really funny. Um, yeah, actually, it's probably the best bet. I'll bring, I'll, I'll bring a full complement tool just in case. Screwdriver, wrench, lug wrench. I don't need anything else in the Bring a hand torch just in case. Right. Let's, uh, let's pop this fucker and see what it is. Carpenter's body is still there. Very cool. Uh, who brought a fake... Who, which one of you cocksuckers brought a fake Humvee to this base? Which one of you motherfuckers... It's disgusting, and you should be embarrassed that you thought that I wouldn't immediately notice. <laughs> it's embarrassing, really. Oh, it's one of these things to flip super easy. Yeah, let's, yeah, this is it. This is it. This is the car. Yeah, we get, uh, okay. So, we have to go to the racetrack first. I think our best bet is just skip um, Bulja almost entirely. I don't really know this town very well, though. We're gonna we're gonna hit the spliff first, though. My character hates being alive with a passion. He has suffered. Immensely. Boom! Get rid of all them fucking boodles. Let's go. Okay. I know you can drive through the south of the base, but I just sort of want to see more of this town first before I... Before I never come back through here ever again. Oh! Oh! It just sucks immediately, I see. 
Yeah, this appears to be a path to the, to the south, so we'll take this. There's a little wood bag. Oh, what is this junkyard? This is a cool little spot. No, oh, we're gonna I'm gonna cute little vehicle. Cute little thing of a bobber. I've done it once, I'll do it again. Uh, or I die a horrible death. You know, it's uh <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Man, these things are not known for their speed. Holy shit. Let's go, let's go. The, the other thing that really sucks about this vehicle type is that they are loud. Like I, I don't I don't have any of the data on like sound radius or anything like that, but I know for a fact that these things are noisy little fucking cocksuckers. I tell you what, it is it is dangerous to drive these things. But also sort of fun. Ooh, here's Avi. Why? Am I one-handing my baseball bat? That is not ideal. Also, why am I swinging so... Oh, I guess I, I know why. Come here, buddy. No, how dare you dodge my attack. Now then, fuck. Um, I'm a little warm. I'm not crazy warm. I'm trying to figure out why I'm slowing and so slow. Aside from the fact that originally I was, uh, um, I was absolutely swinging with one hand. Out there here. Ooh, nice tracks. I hope the uh, NPC shops open up soon. I really, I'm unironically gonna buy about four thousand dollars worth of duct tape, as per tradition. Uh, That's a nice road. Nice open. I'm not too crowded in by trees. I appreciate it. Occasional, occasional zombies, but you know, it is what it is. Driving up. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's get here. Lots of zombies now, Jesus. Oh, ho, 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 gotta be careful on those turns. Ladies and gentlemen, we were on two wheels there for a second there, and uh, let's just say I did not enjoy it. If these little fuckers flip on you, there's no true play coming to save you. You gotta be, you gotta be a little careful. 
Now, I don't really know this area at all. That looks like somebody's... Is that somebody's... Is this a base? What is this? This has to be somebody's base, right? Ooh. There's some good, uh... Some good trailer pickings here. This is, a, this is a really nice place to trade up <laughs> metalworking. Yeah, let's uh let's uh earmark this place for later. Come back with a couple of propane tanks and uh some music perhaps. Oh, it is somebody. Yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, it is somebody's base. Can't get out of here. Okay, okay, that makes sense. It's a okay that they haven't seemed to put any work into it, though. You have all the metal in the world, and you have not put up fences yet. Hmm. Hmm. Eating that entire thing of uh, cereal is probably just, yeah. Let's exit out of that before I fucking <laughs> have a heart attack. Okay, so this is the road on the community center. Okay. So I will be following a minor amount of proper driving etiquette to a point. Okay, maybe not. That's a lot of zombies. That's a lot, a lot of zombies. What the hell? Community center is going to be in trouble if people don't start clearing this area out. Yeah, case in point. Somebody pushed that car out of the way. Very funny. Oh, the weeds finally starting to <laughs> finally starting to wear off. Yeah, if that was a zombie population on the on the community center road, I'm a little worried about Moldra. I'm a little head scratchy, concerny. All right, get close to that intersection. That intersection will be the one I always barrel into, going 80 plus miles an hour. Is that secure? Yeah, that's just a guy. It's just a fella. Uh, it's a beautiful new moon, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps some headlights would be appropriate. Uh, 
Leave it like a bad man. Looks like someone has put in serious effort to clear off the street, which I must commend them for. They must recognize the uh, the value of having the street cleared as opposed to having to drive through um, the main Muldrow Road every single time. Gas tanker, look at that. Ooh, someone's been putting in work. Someone's been getting that metal working experience. Right. I always I'm gonna be I'm gonna be finger ready on the trigger. Ready to fucking annihilate um, the fucking brake pedals. Cause I always forget that there's a sh Ooh, okay, okay. There's a sharp turn on this road. And I always forget about it until the very last second and I you know, I'm tired of it. Okay, okay. Fuck. Fuck you, zombies. Fuck you. On two wheels again. <laughs> All right, and here we are going to have to make a decision. Is this car uh, going to be the one to take us all the way to Louisville, or we swap out? Of course, we'll be checking the engine, the hood, everything else. Let's pull into where I parked my previous car. Uh, you served me very well, my friend. Very well indeed. Dude, I do know zombie spawned there, and they probably have respawned by now, so we're just gonna make sure we're a little quiet. Hood is still at 73% versus this thing, which I think was a beat up piece of crap. Yeah, yeah, we really, really worked that thing to the bone. Yeah, 73%, I think, is going to be what we're going to deal with. I also have the question of the, what path we're taking. Um, I believe. That this path here, probably uh, railroad track to streets, uh, back roads to um, whatever this sounds called, and then taking the normal road up is probably for the best. I've I've gone through um whatever this area is called. It is touch and go to say the least. Actually, yeah, another thing I was gonna check. My swing has not yet recovered. Oh no. Take some pills, we'll smoke some weed, have something to eat. Yeah. 
Yeah, it did very little for my swing speed, but fuck it, whatever. Hopefully by the time we're in Louisville, my, uh, my swing speed is back up to normal. Or else this trip is going to have a very quick ending. Alright, zombies. Alright, catch me if you can. Now, driving on the tracks always freaks me out a little bit because it screws my sense of depth by a significant amount. So we're just going to Zoom in and hope no zombies spawn, because a zombie spawning will probably push me straight off into a tree. Come on, little Hugo, you can do it. You can do it. This would be incredibly creepy. IRL. Like, apocalypse setting, it's nighttime, and it's just you on the railway. Middle of the night. Nothing to occupy your thoughts but fear. No, thank you. No, thank you one bit. Ooh, I'm giving a bit away. I gotta be careful. What for them a cereal box and nothing for my hunger? Come on. Come on now, game. I get a little, little rash in a bit. Oh, I forgot this was here. I knew this was here, but I forgot. So I remember because this uh the Chevrolet has a very unique um, star pattern speckle uh Great job. I remember being there because I remember taking a close eye to it, thinking, oh, that's very pretty. Finding our way downtown. This might seem like an extremely convoluted path, but it's a reliable one. Very few wrecks. I think there's like two more that we gotta deal with, but neither of them are really. Neither of them are really concerned. one and there's one more before we get to the next town I like I like this playlist <laughs> it goes from a very high energy sort of like modern you know a pop sort of sound to a Gets a little slow, gets a little personal. 
when it turns into lo-fi beats you can beat your dick to. <laughs> lo-fi beats you can beat your meat to. <laughs> That's the way we like it. That's the way we like it, I'll tell you what. Zombie pop slowly increasing as we head into um uh Kevin Smith Village. Uh, I can never remember the name of it. What the fuck was that? Was that an anime girl? Was that an anime woman? Perhaps a woman of my dreams? Here we are. Welcome, everybody. There's a movie theater. Zombie doesn't actually seem that bad right now. If this continues, I might stop by at the, uh, the survival store. Oh, this is doable. Surprisingly so. Has a swing. Still really bad. Someone's been here though. Doors open. Makes me sad. I always want to be the first person to loot a place. But we will in fact be looting these things. Five dollars even. I I used the bat this baton before. I'll take one because we don't have a lot of good like like high durability short in the inventory right now. But it's not very good. A mag, weapon light, compensator, the old fashioned fucking Iraq War ACOG, hell yeah. Uh, nothing too crazy for Benson. Very odd spigot, I'll take it. Lightweight Baker style tent, everyone loves those. Getchin, okay. Our trooper. Eleven. We don't want to load up to max because I don't want to put stuff in the trunk of the car. Because what we really want is a really quick turnaround. Sure. See no harm in this trade. For anything that slows down my combat, is that something that we're potentially looking at? I mean, it's a very, very low chance, but it's very real that we could actually come across a power supply unit in here. Which would be very cool. Good knife. Cleaning kits. Some, I'm skipping over some good ammo canisters. Uh, it hurts me, but this is not the point of this trip. Looting was not in the original agenda. Rating system for loaners. Another ammo crate for 30 odd. Please. I don't think power supplies spawn with clothes at all. Well, just, you know, you never know. I mean, one in a million roll, you know, you know right? Could happen, perhaps.
Lots of boxes we all check here. What suit? Very cool. Oh, Grand Lodger. We were looking for one of those, actually. Uh, a lot of really good things. <laughs> I was really hurry by uh my planned weight to uh planned weight to loot ratio. Spiritual <laughs> good. Cereal, good. Apple, fresh. Very nice. Pumpkin pie slice, fresh. Oh my god, bless. You're out here fucking eating good, boys. Um, There's gotta be a light. Why am I in severe pain? Not overloaded. My health's not going down. Fuck me. There are seven. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, if you guys want to come through here and, um, pick this spot clean, I'm skipping over a lot of really good loot. Holy fuck. I really do feel bad about it, but swing speed still very low. Will we potentially fix that problem? If I take her gun, I can't switch to bank type, right? Yeah. But this town is one that I occasionally get a little iffy about. He's nervous about this one. This little turn by the KFC. Little bit of frame slow down. Zombies just out here running around in circles for no reason. Very concerning. 
We are back. We're on the main road. We're on the, we're on the main road, everybody. We, we did it. Carter is just so hungry today. What the fuck is this? So hungry, I'd, I'd almost be... You could convince me he had the zombie plague from how much fucking calories he's going through. I think it's safe to say that we're uh, making our way downtown. Walking fast, faces pass. God damn it, we're homebound. No, it's okay. We're not quite homebound yet. We still have an entire other errand to do. Really, really, really hoping that my arm is healed up by the time we get there so I can do a little looting, a little consequence free. There's a fucking tears up right there. A little consequence free looting when we get all the way down. That Winnebago is not there the other day. That is a new addition to the street. So let's do a little driving surgery so to speak see how our right hand how's our right hand doing i believe this was bitten yesterday still bitten perfect left forearm Arm was healed. This uh, head was made yesterday morning, so maybe. No, it's still been. Okay, neck. <laughs> neck was a laceration. Here's hoping it's down to just a scratch. Nope, still lacerated. Okay. Everything's still, everything on my body is still pretty fucked up right now. Yeah. West Point is roughly the halfway point in between um, our base and the mall. So we should be coming up on roadblock number one. A lot of these fucking zombie hordes don't, um... Oh. One. 
Most people generally consider this one to be a uh, easier of the two to navigate. Okay, second barrier. I just realized up until this point, I, I fell into a daydream and was just driving randomly. <laughs> I was out here daydreaming. I was having a I was having a pleasant dream of a friend of mine. I don't know what they're up to. But I'm back in I'm back in the game right now. Um, so traditionally, now this isn't hundred percent, but traditionally for the second Roblox year. Most small medium cars are able to just get through this medium. Um, uh, I found that over the last four wipes to be true. So uh, I don't want to say it's 100 percent accurate, but uh, if you're in a rush to get home, staying in that middle might be uh, the, technically the most efficient way. Instead of weaving in and around the trees and light poles and the what's that and the other stuff. Okay, here's the Louisville stack up. Now, Louisville, for some reason on our server, we're able to drive right through these. How? Why? We just simply, we just don't know. We just... Here. Yeah, so step one, we have to find out what the zombie population is like. Get our Unibogus parked right up here. Right here, in fact. We don't get to bring in too many zombies. That could be a problem. The max seems pretty clear here. Yeah, this is huge. Gotta take advantage of this. Close, Eric. This 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 couple of seconds might not have a lot of commentary to it. <laughs> I might I might be I might be I might be a little preoccupied on this one. Cause my swing speed is currently ass, and it's scary when it's this bad. I really don't like it. Okay, is that behind me? Okay, we're good. Stop bringing those two. The 
forgot I had piano music. You, you motherfucker. You know you weren't supposed to do that. You game, you fucked me. Okay, my right hand was already, was, uh, okay. Here's the question. Did they, did they bite me again? Or is that the old bite that's just exposed due to, um, due to the, the bandage being ripped off? That's the question that I have to wrestle with now. Fuck. 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 I did have a bite on that hand previously, but did they bite me twice? I don't know. We may never know. Fuck me. Fuck you, game. Fuck you, game. Piece of shit. You knew. You knew. Don't fucking... <laughs> don't grab power when there's zombies nearby. Come on, game. You fucked me on that one. Motherfucker. Yeah, like all those pieces of shit. I hate how this loads up from this side. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little upsetty. I have a cure at home, but I really, really don't want to use it. And I got like a new bite on my hand, so it's gonna be forever for this thing to heal. Fuck me, god damn it! Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Zerx. Oh, well, I was going to move the car, but I was going to have to on gas, so maybe, maybe we just leave that there forever. Can't see, can't see shit. Can't see fucking... Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna to smoke a little marijuana. Make the pain go away. Oh, very nice. This sounds like uh, quite the epic story, Zerks. That'll be a great YouTube video if you should consider it. Close on. Close, close on. Now, we are going to have to be a little careful on our ride home, because uh, we do sort of have, like, no bull bar attached to this. It says he almost immediately steers it into several vehicles. But yeah, this is the reason. This is the reason why we set out today. Fully camouflaged Unimog was just sitting there, ripe for the taking. And boys, have we ever pl we have plucked it from the tree of opportunity? We sought out its sweet juices, and we were victorious. No sour grapes for us today. Only the sublime taste of victory, and um, also hand wounds. It's gonna take like a million mommy kisses to make that shit better. But it's worth it.
unfortunately, it is a drive and a half to get home. Funny that last wipe, this camouflage union mod was the only one we didn't find. We found every other color. But that's the only and this camo was the only one I found this wipe. Also, that, that guy's wearing the Joker outfit. Very cool. Should be able to squeeze through here. At the cost of a little bit of uh, hood health. Trying really hard to avoid a swap cop or a yeah, I think it's swap cop. Trying to avoid zombie, uh, too many zombie casualties. I know it's a weird thing to say, but wounds <laughs> it hurts so much yay a full level of first aid based on just me i'm just healing myself up no books no tapes no no bonus experience just one whole level on, on old scab putting himself back together like like deadpool at the end of a story arc just ditching them back. Okay, almost at West Point, which would make me feel a little happier at least. Yeah, um, I, I've yet to clip it, I really should, but yesterday we had a neck laceration that took me down to like 1% health. We got bit on the top of the head, we got bit on the arm, I cursed for both of those. The shops aren't open yet, so I can't just buy cures, you just buy RNG cures that I'm going through, and it it's so painful to like, to to build up a stockpile of like two or three and then to watch it be fucking whittled away like fuck me so many regrets in this life and they're not even like bites that like I feel like I like that I screwed up like, obviously, every single bite's avoidable. Every single one. I'm not saying that they're not. But, like, sometimes I feel a little cheated. Like, the bite that I got on the head was because uh, a zombie glitched down on a stairway. And the bite I got on the hand just now was, um, uh, obviously, my character did a ground pound where he was technically not supposed to. You know, just little things like that, where it's just like, you motherfucker game. You real motherfucker of a game. Obviously, if I played smarter and more reasonably, I could, like, avoid those, but... Ugh, fuck you game.
I actually, I already know where a Unimog trailer is. I'm pretty sure it's in pretty good condition. But I am too lazy to get one this wipe. I don't think, I, I don't think I'm going to bother this wipe. I never end up using them. They're only really fun on, like, the, when you bring them home. Because they, like, whiz out all the time. But the drive home is the only time where I get any, like, real benefit out of using one. If we had the RV interior mod on for those things, that'd be pretty sweet. That'd be worth it, but... Sadly, we do not. I think I'm going to take the military base shortcut. It doesn't... It, Barely saves me any time. But it's fun to drive through the military base. Makes me feel like I'm doing something that I shouldn't be. Makes me feel like I'm uh, trespassing where I shouldn't belong. Makes me feel a little naughty. Was, wait, yeah. Yeah, I can always kill myself. True. Very true, Zerx. <laughs> Always within the realm of possibility for me to for me to just fucking murder myself. <laughs> Yeah, the zombie population has been turned crazy high this way. Full zombie respawn in less than a day. Less than 24 IRL hours, so... I know for a fact that me and my team have been looting this area every single day. Full zombie pop is just bad. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. Am I, like, actually, like, stock socket? Okay, hold on a second. We'll approach it from dead on. There we go. Zombie, stay away from me, please. Please. I've been a good boy. Well, this doesn't save me a whole lot of time for, um, like, actual transportation time. The shortcut, if I provide I don't get stuck on a fence like that, does save me about <laughs> 10 to 20 uh, bull bar or hood health <laughs> just from skipping over the uh, the mall area completely, which is, uh, you know, it has its benefits, <laughs> especially over the long term. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Now, to be fair, this server doesn't advertise itself as a casual server. It has a lot of very casual mods, like a lot of like almost needless quality of life. But um, yeah, it does it does advertise itself as hardcore survival, even if it really, really does not feel like it that way most of the time. Uh, this is uh. This is like New Game Plus 2. <laughs> That's the level of difficulty. No, not too high, but not too low.
Oh my god, I roll every day, you just get more and more fucking ridiculous. Oh, I hate this place so much. Alright, my dude, eat your cereal as we fucking drag our asses through this area. Every application of the brakes, I like, always forget this is our turn. I've hit the stop sign like 10 times now. Almost home. Character weight has crumpled for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's a little... It's a little, you know. Okay, no, now my character weight is back up again. I don't know why it sank down to 20 for, for, for a second there. I, I'm a little confused. Whatever. <laughs> the mods might be fucking up again. Who knows? We really gotta finish this gate. The raptor's dead body. Very cool. Quick speed, still slow. Let's hope to back up. Fuck. One sec. Uh, we're not gonna actually fuck. We are Buster Brown. Anybody else? Gucci? All right, so we set out to find one armored car. We have found two, our two favorite vehicles in the entire game. We have ourselves a Humvee. Uh, well, it's hood all sort of fucked up. It's trunk open. We found ourselves a Unimog. Now, we do have quite a bit of metal, but not nearly enough to fully outfit both of these. Because we're going to need to build a lot of spare parts here. Including repairing this trunk, which is completely fucked. Uh, so that's for the Unimog. And then for the Humvee... We need to build armored doors and uh, also fix the, the, the hood. But I think those are adventures for tomorrow. Uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit early to wrap it up, but that's like, you know, that was like one, you know, full adventure. You know, that's like, <laughs> you know, we had a mission, we set out, we did it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's like, we're wrap, we're gonna, we're gonna put the bow tie on this one today. You know, but we're going to be back at it tomorrow. We'll probably play... Oh, jeez. Uh, probably Grand Theft Auto tomorrow. Uh, it'll be an open crew invite lobby. I don't know what we're doing exactly. Probably sourcing cars and crates, to be honest with you. But um, Either that or Zomboid. You know, actually, I've been thinking... I don't know. I, I won't throw this past you. I was thinking about playing... Dedicating every Thursday to Grand Theft Auto because that's update day. But if I do that, 
not every update week is at all interesting. <laughs> so there might be some some flounders in there if we dedicate, you know, every Thursday to GTA. But anyway, it's something I've been thinking of. Uh, of course, tomorrow's Wednesday, so we won't be doing that this week. But uh, furthermore, if you guys are watching this after the fact, um, do not feel like you need to donate at all. Just liking this 100 percent. Liking the stream is the number one way you can support us. No, I'm advertising now. I'm sorry. You have, to, you have to go through an advertisement series. You're the only one in the chat, but you have to deal with this. Uh, because quite a lot of people watch these after the fact. Uh, we will be... Uh, we're making our way. We're saving up for an actual live 2D model. A um, couple hundred bucks. If anyone wants to donate... <laughs> I'll, be do I'll be I'll be putting most of the money up front myself. But if, uh, if anyone wants to put... You know, show us to sacrifice your beer money for the week throwing two or three bucks there's a link in the description i'm gonna be a real boy someday i've decided by the end of the year i want to be i want to be a real idol a real vtuber idol <laughs> i know it sounds silly but uh, i think we have a, i think we have a real shot i'm gonna i'm gonna be penny pitching myself i'm gonna be buying off-brand pork chops instead of the fancy you know the fancy you know store brand stuff you know that's why we'd be that's why we throw it at the ball that's a so that's a we're making more an official announcement in a little bit but um again simply liking the stream is actually very powerful so please do that i would appreciate it thank you um it's a lot more powerful than giving a dollar you'd be surprised the algo the algorithm for youtube is a fucking bizarre uh labyrinthian maze filled with pit traps and only liking gets us through Gives us the power to defeat that fucking Minotaur. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to wrap it up now. That's enough advertisement. Official announcement at some point soon. Once I figure it out. Um, yeah, okay. Well, you have a really lovely Tuesday. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, a full two-hour, probably, um, GTA stream, I think. Probably, maybe. I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you, Zerks. And uh, everyone else who's dropping by or has dropped by, I appreciate it. And, uh, I'll talk to you later. I need an ending song. I need to get me one of them too. 